वेलकम टू वी लर्न वर्चुअल लर्निंग नेटवर्क दिस इज सेशन नंबर सेवन ऑफ सोशल प्रॉब्लम्स इन इंडिया एंड द टॉपिक इज चेंजिंग फैमिली स्ट्रक्चर टॉपिक्स टू बी कवर्ड आर फैमिली दैट इज डेफिनेशन एंड टाइप्स ऑफ फैमिली सोशल प्रोसेस दैट अफेक्ट फैमिली स्ट्रक्चर चेंज इन द ज्वाइंट फैमिली सिस्टम चेंज इन द रूरल फैमिली सिस्टम एंड चेंज इन द अर्बन फैमिली सिस्टम नाउ कम टू द फर्स्ट टॉपिक दैट मीन्स फैमिली definition and its type ordinary a family particularly an element family can be defined as a social group consisting of father mother and their children but in view of the variety as found in the constituents of a family this definition is rather inadequate bohanan in his definition of the family emphasized the functional as well as the structural role of family and according to him a family contains people who are linked by sexual and a final relationship as well as those linked by descent who are linked by secondary relationship that is by chain of primary relationships now types of family on the basis of composition of the family three distinct types of family organization emerges first one is nuclear family the most basic among the families is called natal or nuclear elementary or simple family which consists of a married man and a woman and their offspring in specific cases sometimes when or more additional persons are found to reside with them over a period of time the structure of a family changes often additional members with an aged parents or parents or unmarried brother or sisters may come to like with the member of a nuclear family it may lead to development of varieties of nuclear families while discussing the nature of the joint family in india pollen colenda has discussed additional modifications in the nuclear family structure and she gives the following compositions categories first is nuclear family this refers to a couple with or without children second supplemented nuclear family indicates a nuclear family plus one or more unmarried separated or widowed relatives of a pair of the parents other than their unmarried children third sub nuclear families is identified as a fragment of a former nuclear family for instance a widow widower with his or her unmarried children or siblings or widowed or separated or divorcee living together single person household supplemented sub nuclear families refers to a group of relatives members of a formerly complete nuclear family along with some other unmarried divorced or widowed relatives who were not member of the nuclear family for instance a widow and her unmarried children may be living together with her widowed mother in law in the indian context it is easy to find all these types of family however in terms of social norms and values these type relates to the joint family system nuclear family are often combined like atoms in a molecule into larger aggregates although such families are generally referred to as composite forms of family and on the basis of their structural characteristics they can be differentiated into two distinct type like polygamous and family now come to the polygamous family a polygamous family ordinarily consists of two or more nuclear families conjoined by plural marriages these fam- these type of families are statistically very few in number in general there are basically two types of polygamous polygamous families based on the form of marriage we are polygamous that is one husband with more than one wife at a time and polyam or polygamy that is one wife with more than one husband at the same time second one is extended family an extended family consists of two or more nuclear families affiliated through the extension of parent child relationship and relationship of marriage or uh, married siblings the former can be de- uh, designated as a vertically extended family where as a latter would be referred to as a horizontally extended family in a typical uh, patriarchal extended family their lives and elderly person with his son and 
wife and their unmarried children. You may be interested to know what constitute the jointness in the joint family. Usually, the jointness is depicted in a number of factors. We have commensality, that is, eating together from the same kitchen, common residence, joint ownership of property, cooperation, and common sentiments, common ritual bonds, etc. You may also be interested to know who constitute the joint family. It is the kin relationship, hence. Pauline's Colenda point out the following types of joint family in India. First one is collateral joint family, which comprises two or more married couples between whom there is a sibling bond. Supplemented collateral uh, joint family is a collateral joint family along with unmarried, divorced, and widowed relatives. Lineal joint families consist of two couples between whom there is a uh, lineal link like between a parent and her married sons or between a parent and his married daughter. Supplemented lineal joint family. It is a lineal joint family together with unmarried, divorced or widowed relative who do not belong to either of the line, uh, linely linked nuclear families. Lineal colli, uh, collateral joint family consists of three or more couples linked linearly and collaterally. For example, a family consists of the parents and their two or more married sons together with unmarried children of their couples. Supplemented lineal, that is, collateral joint family. It consists of members of the lineal collateral joint family plus unmarried, widowed, separated relatives who belong to none, none of the nuclear family. For example, the father widowed sister or brother or an unmarried nephew of the father. Now, social processes affecting family structure. A host of interrelated factors via economic, educational, legal, demographic like population growth, migration, urbanization, etc. have been affected the structure of the family in India. We shall take care of these factors while discussing the changes in the following sections. Now, first one is industrialization. There are innumerable published accounts demonstrating that changes have taken place in the structure of the family due to exposes, exposures to the forces of industrialization. Nuclearization of the family is considered as the outcome of its impact. Such an interpretation uh, presupposes existence of non-nuclear family structure in e such societies. Empirical evidence sometimes does not support this position. Further, industrial establishment have their own requirements of human groups for their efficient functioning. As a result, people are migrating to industrial areas and various kind of family units have been formed adding extraordinary variety to the overall situation. It is nevertheless important to note down in this context that despite def uh, definite visible trend in the changing structure of the family due to industrialization, it is not yet possible to establish any one-to-one -one relationship. Second, urbanization in most of the discussion on impact of urbanization on the family structure when specific observation is fairly common that due to the influence of urbanization the joint family structure is under severe stress in many cases it has developed a tendency towards nuclearization when there is no disagreement on the authenticity of such a tendency, the traditional ideal joint family was perhaps not the exclusive type before such influence came into existence. Various accounts demonstrate how both nuclear and joint structure have evolved innumerable varieties due to the influence of urbanization. Next is modernization. Both industrialization and urbanization are considered as a major contributing factor towards modernization. In fact, modernization as a social psychological attribute can be in operation independent of industrialization and urbanization. With the passage of time through exposures to the forces of modernization family structure underwent multiple changes almost leading to the endless variety. There are instances too where family structure has become simpler due to its impact 
there are also contrary instances indicating consequence complexity in the family structure. Now change in the family structure that is one of the important feature of the family studies in India has been cons concentrated with the questions of whether the joint family system is disintegrating and a new nuclear type of family pattern is emerging. It seems almost unrealistic and Augustine points out that we think of a dichotomy between the joint and nuclear family. This is especially true given the rapidity of social changes which has swept our country. In the context of industrialization, urbanization and social change, it is very difficult to think of a dichotomy between the joint and the nuclear family in India. In the present context, these typologies are not mutually exclusive. Social change is an uh, inevitable social process which can be defined as observable transformations in social relationships and this transformation is most evident in the family system because of structures of our traditionally these transformations are not easily observable now change in the joint family system the extended family in India is known as joint family. The ideals of the joint family are highly valued throughout the country, especially among the Hindus. However, studies conducted in several parts of the country show that the joint family system in India is undergoing a process of structural transformation and due to the process of modernization, industrialization and urbanization. But the fact remains that the value and attitude of the Indian society have favored the joint family traditions for centuries and these are still favored. Now, change in rural family system factor responsible for change. Land reforms, that is earlier the member of the joint family normally lived together due to common and, uh, ancestral property which was vast in size. Education and gainful employment. Education, industrialization and urbanization have opened the scope of gainful employment to the villagers outside the village. Initially, a few members of the joint family moved to the city for education. Economic difficulties in rural areas. Growing individuals, a high sense of individualism is also growing among section of villagers. Now, impact of the breakdown of the joint family. The transition in the rural family structure has certain significant impact on the status and role of the family members. One impact is that of the diminishing authority of the patriarch of the joint family. In the joint family, traditionally, authorities rest on the eldest male members of the family. Once the family splits into several units, new authority centers emerge there with the respective eldest male member as the head of each nuclear unit. Now change in urban family system. First one is family in urban settings. Scholars point out that industrial urbanization has not brought this integration in the joint family structure. Milton Singer studies the structure of the joint family among the industrialists of Madras city. And he finds the joint family system has not been a block end for entrepreneurship development. Rather, it has facilitated and adapted to industrialization. Or, or instead, in his study of the recent history of extended family in India, analyze, analyzes the census data from 1811 to 1951. Direction of change. T. K. Omen is of the opinion that so far urban family has been viewed from within as a little society. To him, for a proper understanding, the urban family should be placed in a broad social context. For this purpose, the urban families are to be distinguished through the mode of earning, a livelihood and sources of income, structure of authority, urban social milieu and social ecology and the emerging value patterns. Some emerging trend in the context of rapid technological transformation, economic development and social change, the pattern of family living has been diverse in urban India. Today, life has been much more complex both in the rural and in the urban areas than what it was few decades ago. In the urban areas, even in the rural areas as well, many couples are in gainful employment and these working couples are to depend on others for childcare etc. facility facilities. Now there are some questions on the basis of this session. First one is 
describe the impact of land reforms on the joint family system in india and second is what has been the impact of the mass media on the joint family that's it for this session thank you happy learning we learning